I'm supposed to say now how I won the dialogue uh, APL contest. Uh, but the answer is very simple. I have no idea. Uh, uh, I'm sure that uh, Ari thinking from uh, physics that I'm doing and uh, some code golfing that I used to do really helped, but uh, really I, I don't know what happened. Uh, so I'll tell you how I worked for the problems. Uh, my two basic tools were uh, Try APL uh, online and the book Mastering Dialogue. Uh, basically, I was I, I tried I was toying with uh, Try APL uh, using the very useful list uh, of primitives that it's on the side, and then went to Mastering Dialogue and back and forth uh, like that. So Try APL, I found it very useful. I wouldn't have uh, uh, participated, I think, in the, constant w uh, in the contest without uh, this. It's very easy to start. I had uh, some problems uh, last year where I tried to participate again, but I didn't know about uh, this online tool. It's very easy to use. Uh, I really like the backtick trick. It's uh, very good to, to get used to the keyboard and to learn the APL keyboard. I found really useful the primitives list that's on the side, and you can have the names. Uh, you can see the basic usage of uh, its primitives, see some examples. And also, a thing that I think it was not mentioned uh, yesterday that there was a relevant talk that uh, TriAPL has persistent sessions, and uh, this also helped a lot. Apart from this, Mastering Dialogue was a very great uh, book, a great resource to, to learn about uh, APL. Uh, very good examples. I learned the syntax mostly from, from there. Helped my understanding a lot. Uh, and I saw many ways how to combine, how you combine the primitives to make uh, uh, Dialogue uh, APL idioms. I wish I have heard of uh, TIO, but uh, I didn't know about it. Uh, it would be a great complement to TriAPL because uh, TriAPL basically is missing an editor. I would have used, I think, uh, TIO as an editor to save my code, uh, make uh, the functions there, and uh, use as a playground uh, the TriAPL uh, framework. Uh, so, Overall, it was a very enjoyable experience. <laughs> uh, it was really. The problems were very fun uh, to, to try and solve. And I learned a lot of APL. So I saw some of my code. First, uh, the problem three from phase one. Which uh, actually it's a simple problem, but uh, uh, I will show you this to you because mostly because I uh, I like some input. Uh, the problem is this: that uh, you have a string, and uh, you are supposed to remove everything that is uh, between a pair of uh, double quotes. What I did is uh, first I found where uh, the double quotes were. And I counted how many uh, double quotes are to the left of uh, its digit. Its digit. And if it's in an even number, then it means it's uh, outside of the double quotes. If it's an odd number, uh, it is inside the quotes. And then you have to add the first vector to this, uh, meaning uh, the, the quotes themselves. And uh, that's the solution that uh, I wrote. I think I submitted something like this. But uh, I'm not satisfied with this solution because 
It's a very common problem and I'm sure there is something that I'm missing. I've already talked to Brian and Adam about this and they pointed me to some direction, some possible solutions, but uh, I'm wondering if, if is there a better way to use this using Dialog 14 that I had to use? Because what you mentioned yesterday was uh, about 16, I think. Uh, mostly. So that's the first piece of the code. And now about uh, the healthcare set of uh, phase two. Maybe it's a more practical problem. Uh, actually, we were uh, asked to make a projection. Uh, we had some population of uh, patients taking population A taking drug A, B taking drug B, C, maybe D, E, F, uh, whatever, and then some special categories uh, uh, are patients in remission or that have died or that don't take any drug or whatever. And uh, we have some rules of how these populations move around. For example, baby for, for patients taking drug A, maybe 30% of them after two months uh, start taking drug B. 10% of them every month go into remission and so on for every category. And on top of that, every month there are some identified, new identified cases, which is a random number of uh, patients. Ideally, we would want to model that this way, where we have uh, the initial population, a matrix that represents the changes between the populations. Uh, and this give us, directly gives us the new populations. For example, this could be a population matrix, matrix. And this is the changes, how we could represent the changes. Where this, for example, means that 30% of population A ends up in B, and here 40% of B goes into remission. And this means that Nobody comes back from the dead tax. <laughs> so the projection uh, using some representation, uh, some kind of representation would be, we would want it to be like this. Um, but we can't use it uh, this way because uh, that could be too complex to try to to have one matrix for uh, monthly changes, one for bimonthly changes, and so on. So what maybe is uh, obvious to more expensive users, but it took me a while to, to find, is that you can simply add uh, some transitional uh, categories. For example, this could be patients on the first month of drug A, and then this is the rest. So, writing like this, we, ca we could use this uh, form, but you also have the new patients uh, that are random for each month. Uh, what that means is that we actually have this, where this is, we have the initial population plus some random occurrences times the change matrix plus the second month occurrences times the matrix again and so on as many months we want to make the projection but writing it like this uh, maybe it's easy to see that these parts are just this operation where we can use to as a reduced operation for uh, the catenation of uh, random populations and the initial population. So that's what we should write, maybe. That's a complete solution for projections, for uh, 
all combinations and uh, uh, any kind of uh, transfers and projections that we want to make. I think I submitted something like this and not not this. And uh, okay, that would be all. Thank you.